sees everything. What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back yesterday, but Ida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out, too. Maybe I'll talk to Haroon. not here. Oh. Well, you'd better go find him. I'm looking for Harun. Harun? If a toothache was a man, it would be Harun. If you see him, could you push him into a hole? Yasmina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me, and my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there, and then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more, but that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppets. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run. So I did. It's all right, Yasmina. I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. I need to find Harun. Nobody likes Harun. But if you ask me, he's the only one who knows what needs to be done. You can't be tough and be popular, right? You see what I'm saying? You want Anderson? Where can I find Haroon? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls reside. Eating fish heads, perhaps. Can't you see I'm busy? Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. 
All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. <laughs> Bad break. What about her kids? What about them? There's no answers in around here. I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay? Take it easy, take it easy. I won't hurt you. You're Jamil, right? Y yes Okay, I'm looking for your mom. Can you tell me where she is? Yasmina was bitten by one of those creatures. So mom took her to a man that found a medicine that fell from the sky. 
She said his name was Salim. Do you know where Salim lives? In the tool shop. All right, now listen to me, Jamil. I'm going to go get your mom and come back for you. So you wait right here, okay? Okay, just come back soon. All right, we will. Don't worry. Salim! Salim, we need to talk! Go away! I'm armed, so you better get the hell out of here. You have to let Ida go! You mean that stupid woman? She's dead. She was infected, so I had to kill her. Now, her daughter says you have antizin. I don't know anything about this. It has nothing to do with me. Salim, I'm not leaving without her. Oh, yeah? So you want to have a party? How about I invite some more guests?
until I'm fallen to us. What's he done to you? Take it easy, take it easy, you're free. Yes, Mina, my daughter. She went... She's safe, she's back at the village. Your son's still hiding at the house where you left him. What am I going to do? We can't stay in the village. Haron will throw us out again. You're going to take your kids and go to the tower. I want you to find a doctor there named Lena. Tell her that Crane says to take care of you, and that he'll make sure there's enough antizin for you and your daughter. You are Crane? Yeah, yeah, I'm Crane. Now go back to Jamil, he's waiting for you. Yasmina's with your sister. Thank you for being kind to me. I didn't think there was any kindness left.
I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Not. Why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. You have my wolf Spain. Good. I'm sure it was not an easy task. Wait, I've got something for you. You've earned it.
Not yet, wait a sec. Got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna! So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow. 
that one. Blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, you will see it as weakness. And then I will take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can... I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antezine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir, she's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Shit. <clears throat> Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole.
Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe. Definitely get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisen. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antisen I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. This is where we get the announcements about the antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, 
Oh, Jesus, Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. That, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Well, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Like, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay, and listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Jade knows where we might be able to get more Antizen. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. Thank you. We really needed these supplies. <sighs> 
You got something for us? find better stuff anywhere else. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Look, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This, and the problems of operating in the current environment, have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. Hope you find some time to take a look at the board.
Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away, it's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. Banana recipes. Wet dream, the first on a bookcase, he said. Okay. Big butt bonanza, nice. A falafel diet. Big book of death metal. DVD player user manual. Simple tricks to get the chicks. See, defeat a couch potatoes guide to vegetable guy. That's the one.
You've got my glasses and the book? Ah, that's great. Good lord, my glasses are filthy. What have you been doing with them? No, 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 never mind. It, it doesn't matter. Here, let me give you something for your trouble. We are waiting for you. Yes, hurry up. You're putting us behind schedule. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch-black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame.
you... Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes. How did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. <sighs> well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm.
your hooks. Ha, incredible! We have underestimated him. Well, we can hardly be blamed for that. Look at him. Are we done? You're done. We have work to do. And when we're finished, we'll leave some zip lines up for you. Yes, we know how you primates like to swing from the vines. This is the Fort Jefferson Tower, and you will address me as Commander Jeff. I make the rules here, is that clear? Not Brecken, not Rice. This is Jeffville, or Jeff Land, or Jeffertown, or New Jeff City. Look, Jeff. Commander Jeff! There's an emergency. The gas is out all over the city. Oh, yeah. That... that was me. But you shut off the gas? Installation of the Fort Jefferson Apocalypse Wall required a temporary interruption of the civilian gas supply. But I'm all ready now, so you can turn it back on. I think that's going to be your job. No can do. I'm too critical to base operations. We'll have to send someone who's expendable. <clears throat> Commander, I'd like to volunteer. You're a good man, whoever you said you are. I hate to lose you. Now. Go open the quadrant allocation valves, plus the primary distribution gate. Then report back to me, and I'll restore the city main pressure here. Hey! If you don't get killed, you can be the first civilian to witness my apocalypse wall. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, God.
Open the local valves plus the primary gate. Uh-huh. What about the ballast lines? Wait, the, the what? Flame and flatulence. Do I have to tell you everything? Obviously, you have to close all the valves on the blue line to keep the pressure balanced. Now hurry up. We're going to be leaking more gas than Grandma Christmas. <laughs> Get back here on the double. 
old soldier? Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't the Navy, son. Drink some coffee and sober up. Well done, soldier. I'll open the main pressure gate. Then prepare your eyes for a feast of controlled pyro combustion. Now, I think I should watch this from a distance. If you insist, you got ten seconds. Jeff, and the gas is back on. That's a relief. I told you, he's irreplaceable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to. Try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it, UV flares, continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine, it's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. Except everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise, Oh, is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last 10 seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, Whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way! You're freaking nuts, bro! Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Hey, you been looking for a runner? Well, we're looking for one who will say yes instead of no. Jafar can fill you in.
We are all in the most terrible danger. Please, don't ignore me. Listen to what I have to say. I am Babar Kizil, and I am the victim of a most terrible and alien curse. I... A lycanthrope. A werewolf. You have seen the undead all around you. I is it so unlikely that other such monsters are here as well? The Nosferatu, the mummy, the lycanthrope? Dahlia the witch says I can be cured if I ingest a potion of garlic, wolf's bane, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Help me collect these things and get me to another safe zone. I will pay you very, very well. One of the survivors here, I think he's a goo. Also, they tell me I have to leave because I'm a crackpot. Tonight is the full moon. We haven't much time. human already. Wolf's bane. The bane of wolves. Now, for the final ingredient. Let's go. So, Babar, how did you become a werewolf? <laughs>
Thank you, sir. You have saved countless lives. No doubt. Here is your payment. Good luck to you, and beware the moon.
You got them? Let me see. Oh yes, oh yes, this is awesome. Zaid gets to live. Oh, this looks like the beginning of a beautiful... We're not friend. friends. No, of course. My mistake. Uh, associates. Not even that. Just tell me how you make them and I'll be on my way. Right. Okie dokie. Got it. Say no more. We have an understanding. This deal is done. Shut up, Zaid. Yes, sir.